everyone, it's Jen Tiffany. Welcome back to the New Year Better You on the Inside and Outside series. Today we're going to be talking about brows and comparison. And just so you know, when comparing your brows, they're supposed to be sisters, not twins. They're never going to look alike. Okay, I'm going to take our brow gel. It has a little spoolie, or I'm sorry, our brow liner. It has a little spoolie on the end. And I'm just going to brush. And they're a little crazy today. I am just going to brush. I've got a couple out of place, so I am going to take, and I'm not completely recommending this. I do this more than I probably should. Um, the Unique Eye Tweezers. Um, oh my gosh, I love these things. These are the best tweezers I've ever used, and I'm not kidding. I am the girl that keeps tweezers in the, you know, in the middle compartment of her car. Like, I know my tweezers, so we're just going to go a little unruly's. Okay, let's go fix them later. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? This is such a thin little point, um, if you can see that. So it really mimics the hair. And, okay, how do you figure out where your brows are supposed to be? What you do is, when you are going up the nose, like up the bridge, I have a really wide nose, as I tell you, I think in like every video, I'm gonna look at my mirror here. And we're gonna mark that, because that should be the inside. Um, across the pupil from the bottom of the nose, Across the pupil, that's where your arch should be. So you see my natural arch is kind of right in that area anyway. And then here, um, from the corner of your nose up to the corner of your eye, that's where your, let me put a little mark there, that's where the end of your brow should be. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to have to fill in and create and we're going to outline. So first I'm going to outline the bottom starting with that inner mark. Okay, so comparison. I think comparison is the thief of joy. I think when you compare yourself to others, um, to others' journey, to what others have, you know, whatever that source of comparison is, I think it is just a fast track to unhappiness. And, um, you know, let's, let's add in social media. Now, you know, we get to see people's highlight reels, you know? So I think that it has caused a lot of depression. I think it's caused a lot of frustration. And, um, you know, instead of being happy for, for people and, you know, whatever it is that they're achieving in life, I think we have a tendency, um, you know, when, when we compare, I think jealousy comes out, which we know is an ugly beast. And, and I'm not saying, you know, you're wrong for that. That's natural. Okay, now see how I have filled that in. So if you look at the difference between the two of them, if we get close, you can see now how I have more of a completed brow. Now, when you're doing this, we just want light little strokes because we want it to mimic the hairs, okay? So then we're gonna take our spoolie end again and we're gonna kind of blend that, blend that in a bit. But um, when you're comparing journeys, it's never apples to apples because we are all um, unique, you know? We are all special in our own ways. And when we're comparing journeys, you know, you might be comparing the middle of your journey to um, the end of theirs. You know what I mean? It's, it, you're, it, there's no metrics to make sure that what you're doing is, is correct or, you know, is um, apples to apples. Okay, our brow gel, real tiny little, little I love this little wand. And what it's going to do is it's going to kind of keep them in place, smooth them out a little bit, but it has a little wee, wee, wee bit of fibers, not as strong as our mascara, but just a little bit to help you fill in. And we're just going to go around. Um, if you don't have a lot of, like I have bushy brows. If you don't have bushy brows, you're going to want to pull this against the hair growth um, at first. And then you'll smooth that out because you want them to attach a little more. I really don't need, um, I don't really need the extra fibers a lot. So I don't do it that way. But that's going to help kind of um, fill those in for you. So yeah, so um, when we're comparing, you know, what, I guess what good does it do to compare? Because we each have our own story. Um, you're, you're never going to know what the other person's um, going through. If you're watching someone's journey and it inspires you and it motivates you, that's fantastic. You know, that's the way it should be. But if you're kind of looking at people's journeys going, oh, everything goes right for her. Why can't that be me? Why can't that happen for me? She's got the perfect marriage. She's got, you know, kids, whatever that is, the perfect career. Uh, don't, don't compare because it, it just, it really is going to lead to unhappiness. They don't want you to be unhappy. It's so natural for us to compare because 
society, that's what it does. They, you know, it, they put movie stars in front of us and think we're supposed to look like them. They show us, you know, um, their figures and it's just, it's not, um, it's not reasonable for most of us. Okay, if you, now listen, when you first start doing your brows, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I feel like Oscar the Grouch has painted brows on me because you're not used to seeing it. So I took this, dipped it in a little bit of our pressed powder, and we're just going to powder over them just to kind of make them a little more natural. 